What it do, y'all? This your man King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button for me. So check this out. So this is one of the big stories right now. There's a rapper that goes by the name of Notorious Big One said that his name and his song was stolen, and he's mad about it. Now I'm gonna read this here. It says here. The game is dirty. They are going hard at Puffy and Biggie too by default. How real is this? I cannot do all this writing, so I'm going out to cut and paste something from the internet. Yes, ladies, but it's also late. I'm also tired. But here's the situation in a nutshell. There was a rapper with the name Notorious Big One, and he had a reported song called Big Daddy that did zero damage. He was from Mississippi. This is a real song that used the same sample as Juicy, which is derived by the hit song Juicy Fruit by Midtone, M Tone. Decades after the tragic end of Christopher Wilde, the song is making rounds and the rapper is talking. Basic accusations are he was ripped off. So here's what I'm reading here. I'm going to read here. He went from Biggie Smalls to Big E. Smalls due to a lawsuit by Calvin Lockhart in 1992, then became Notorious B.I.G. in 1993. The year Notorious B1 from Mississippi dropped his first and last single, Big needed a name in a hit single and Puffy found both in Mississippi. Notice on the song in question, Big said from the Mississippi down to the East Coast. And also notice, B1 named his song Big Daddy. Big named after his alter ego, Big Papa. I know some of you have shit under your noses and not smell it, but that's not going to change the fact that this is no coincidence. One similarity is one thing, but several along the mention of the man state in the song his question is a bozo. Biggie used J. Rue to damage his flow pattern in a song he dissed him in while allowing J. Rue good friend and producer DJ Premier and engineered the song he well known as to him until he heard a particular bar when then Biggie finally told him. If you know hip hop, you know the song flow and story and will also know Biggie kept using that flow in other songs. In closing, Biggie only needed a name and a hit which got from B1 and that was a normal practice and still is. Big is an amazing MC. And this takes nothing away from that. He's great without Juicy, but Puffy stole an idea that came from B1 because he was desperate to win, and it worked. Notorious B1 allegedly said, In 1993, I was signed to a small record deal Ray label called Dragon Records in Gulfport, Mississippi. I had a song that I wrote called wrote to Mutum called Juicy Fruit. I wrote the song to an actual record. It was called Big Daddy. Big Daddy was the lead single of the Mississippi Doughboys album that was released in September 1993. It was released on the same day as Snoop Dogg's first album, Doggy Style. The, Do the Doughboy album was made to by two Comport rappers, Tilda and myself, the Notorious Big One. Notorious B1. Yeah, I had the name and song first. I know it might be hard for to believe, but this is 100% true. We was on the radio first and in the stores first. We sent packages to all the major labels, shopping for distribution. Just image my surprise when people start calling me saying they just seen my video. We was trying to get the truth back then, but after Big's death, I tried. I decided to leave it alone out of respect. I'm not fat anymore, and a lot has changed, but before I leave this bitch, I want everybody to know the truth. I was the original Notorious Big One, two grams. Wow. And before I give my opinion, I want to let, let you know that me, uh, I want to let y'all know what, what are y'all thoughts about this? Let me know what you guys think. I want to hear what you got to say. I'm probably just going to go on later and give my opinion about it. So, was this stolen or this a coincidence? Let me know how.